So first, let's take you through what you'll be seeing when you enter Blender. The big screen in the middle is your 3D viewport. This is where you'll be modeling, sculpting, and animating. You know, you can press these tabs up here to access some other presets that Blender has already set up for us. Shading, animation, rendering, compositing, scripting, texture painting, UV paint, UV editing, sculpting, modeling, and layout. Everything that you see in the world here is on the grid. Right here, the transforms, it tells you where they are in the grid. On unit 4.762 meters, 1.55 meters, 5.9039 meters. This is where this light is located. And this cube is located at 000. zero, zero. So that is the center and origin of this, of this world. So no matter where you put the cube, if you just put zero, 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 that's where we are. And as you can see here, it ha you have the location X and Y and Z. That is because this green line is the, is, this green line right here is the location Y. And then this green, this red line here is the location X. Everything you see is located on the Blender grid. One grid unit equals one meter. If you go to your scene settings, you can change it to whatever unit measure you like. But for now, we'll leave it at meters. This sidebar right here is your outliner. Everything you put here, this is a list of everything that's in your scene and you're currently working on. It can be used to quickly find anything you need, like a mesh or camera. This can get a little crowded once you have more things in your scene. So it's important to keep this stuff, to keep, it's organized. So we can grab this stuff and make use of the collections. So we can just press M right here hold on I just noticed that shortcut is not on so if you look right here you can see what keys I'm pressing we can grab all of these things and see it's already selected right here in our call in our in our outliner and we can just press M to move to a new collection just click new collection name it extra extra cubes and we can make them active or inactive. When you make them active, they will not be visible in final renders, but if you make them invisible, they will be visible in final renders.